During a press conference yesterday morning, Seattle Seahawks linebacker and Super Bowl MVP Malcolm Smith gave a press conference while wearing an Illuminati all-seeing eye. Smith told reporters that he had forgotten to bring the customary suit and that he was dressed to visit Disney World. B. And back a week, I guess, when you were packing your bags, you know, I better pack a suit in case I'm at the MVP press conference the next morning. You know, they didn't tell me what the dress was like. I'm, I'm dressed to go to Disney World. Here's a close-up image of the logo on Smith's shirt, which shows an all-seeing eye inside a snake eating its own tail. The shirt is actually from the Polar X Nike range. And here you can see a clearer image of that same logo. There are a multitude of different explanations behind the origin of the all-seeing eye and why it appears on the dollar bill. But what we know for sure is that it's an archetypal icon that has been appropriated by the modern fashion and entertainment industries because its connections with the Illuminati secret society are seen as mystical, alluring, sexy, trendy and cool. Which is why rappers like Jay-Z and others constantly invoke the Illuminati as well as incorporating its symbolism into their stage shows, clothing and recording material. The snake eating its own tail, otherwise known as Ouroboros, also has a plethora of different appropriated meanings. It's been closely associated with Osiris, the Egyptian god of the dead, who is also symbolized by an all-seeing eye, the Eye of Horus, which itself symbolizes a projection of power and is also embraced by the Illuminati and a number of different celebrities who like to believe that they're a part of the Illuminati. So was Malcolm Smith wearing an all-seeing eye to denote an homage to the Illuminati or Satan? Probably not, but it's another example of how the mainstream entertainment industry embraces the occult while promoting, largely to teenage audiences, the most amoral, nihilistic, destructive and ultimately satanic lifestyles as was so viscerally evidenced by the recent Grammy Award performance of Katy Perry. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.